Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerle and welcome to my channel, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income guilt-free. And what are we going to do today? Six tips for writing killer subject headlines. Email marketing in your online business, whether it be affiliate marketing or any other area of online marketing, you need to have an email list and you need to have killer subject headlines. People get tons of emails every day and you want yours to stand out. So that's the one that they click. That's the one that they open. So I've got six tips here for you today that will help you increase your open rate where people will hit that button. Let's go ahead and get started. First, you want to have a sense of urgency. That's one tip. You're not going to use the same tip every time, obviously, but when people see something and there's a sense of urgency, like you have to open it now, you only have six hours, 24 hours left, people will be more apt to open it. Think of yourself with all of these tips. Which are the emails that you open? It gets me every time when they say my time is limited. And if for, another, for no other reason, I want to figure out, well, what is it? What is it that I have to, to um, look at that's going to disappear in 24 hours? And that brings me to the next one, or a sense of um, curiosity, which that just created curiosity as well. But another way of in, um, sparking that curiosity would be to say something like, I can't believe what just happened. And you're like, well, what just happened? So something like that, something that's going to make them, you kind of give them a part of the story and then you finish the story of what happened in your email. So make sure it keeps them engaged as well. You don't want to um, spike that curiosity, get them to open it, and then they're disappointed. Make sure you follow through with that curiosity and make it awesome. And that will get them to continue to read that email. Another tip is personalize it. I didn't do that at first. I didn't know how. <laughs> so take the time to Google it. Whatever autoresponder that you're using, actually I have two autoresponder links below that you can use. These are the two that I use, Active Campaign Actionetics. And within their training, or you can Google it, they will show you how to um, put a little code where it actually picks up the person's name. Now, another benefit of that, if you've got emails that really don't belong to anybody and they've got really funky names or whatever, you can delete those out and actually fill your email list with real people. But think of it again yourself. When my name is in that subject line, I am more apt to open it because I feel like they're talking directly to me. So put their name in that subject line. Another one is timeliness. Now, what do we mean by that? Make, um, I know a lot of people will do sequences for their emails and I think that's great, but um, I've seen mixed reviews on whether or not you should do a broadcast. Some people say, oh, don't do broadcast, put everything in a sequence and it's all automated. I think that's wonderful, but I think there is a lot to be said for things that are current. When you, when you send out a broadcast, you're sending out something that's fresh and relevant and current and that's what timeliness is so it, let's say something current is going on like the election and there's something in there that you want to make a point about you're going to connect your subject headline and talk about something that's trending right now so timeliness you definitely want to use in your broadcast bring bring a topic up it could be something that's um controversial or not and put it in your subject headline so people will open it the next one is coattailing right on somebody else's coattails find somebody in your industry that is very very successful and then maybe put their name in there so gary vanderchuk is very popular in the online marketing industry and you might say can you believe what gary v just said or something like that so you're coattailing and you're invoking curiosity as well and then share something that he just said. You might even share his video. There's nothing wrong with that. And say, you know, you've got to look at this. And I just Googled it. I saw this and, and it's just really relevant. It's something that's going to help you. So use other people. Don't, it doesn't have to be all about you. And, and honestly, in my opinion, when you start lifting other people up, it doesn't even have to be Gary Vee. It can be other people that aren't quite as high in the industry. But when you lift other people up, I think it gives you a sense of humility and integrity because it's not just about you, that you're willing to share reviews and information from other people as well. And I think that says a lot about you as a marketer. This is the last one. I noticed this works for me. And this is number six, use emojis in your subject line. If you go to your email list right now that people have sent to you, 
your eye goes right to the ones that have emojis in there and they're very very easy to use in fact on the next page i have a um, website right here free emoji website just type that in and they you can go in pick the emoji you want copy it paste it right into your subject line it's that simple there are tons of free sites that's just one of the ones that i happen to use now before you go give me a thumbs up if this was helpful subscribe to my channel and then i've got two more links down there like i said one for active campaign one for action addicts they're both auto responders they deliver your emails for you um, that's where you can write them up write a sequence do broadcast that's a whole nother training but if you don't have an auto responder i recommend one of these two I know there are free ones out there, but this is what happens when you use a free autoresponder, you're limited to how many emails that you can have or how many that you can send per month or how many contacts you can have in your list. You want to think of the end result. You want to think I'm going to have 50,000 people on my email list someday. Well, if you go with those free ones, you can't grow that big. Then you're going to have to take the time to export those names, put them in a different site and mess with all of that. My opinion find a good one now learn how to use it even though you're not using all the wonderful tools build yourself up to that point where you do and then you stay there and that that's just a time saver in my opinion but that's up to you what you want to do all right thank you for watching the video again thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next video